breakfast, the most important meal of the day, not only for its nutrients and energy requirements, but also because of all the delicious options available to us. There is a sweet breakfast and savoury breakfast, as well as all things in between. One thing is for sure, breakfast should not be boring, especially on the weekend. And today is Sunday, so I'm making a slightly indulgent breakfast for me and my hubby. The cereal and toast can wait till later in the week. Everyone loves pancakes, but they can leave us feeling full and bloated instead of energised. So instead, I'm going to make a French favourite, crepes. Instead of your generic filling, we're going to use some beautiful rhubarb from the Pullman's Gourmet Veggie range. I feel rhubarb is so undervalued. Most people don't know what it is, what it tastes like and how to cook it. Well, it isn't red celery. No, it's a sweet flavoured fruit, once caramelised, and goes beautifully with apples, strawberries and raspberries. Rhubarb is high in fibre and calcium, low in carbs and is proven to lower cancer risk. Instead of hiding in the shadow, we're going to make rhubarb the star of the show today. I promise you will thoroughly enjoy it. And to make our crepes, the first thing we're going to do is sift a cup of flour into a bowl. You might have a sifter, I'm just using a sieve and a spoon. That's okay. Get that all through. And then we're going to mix together three eggs with two cups of milk. So I'll break the eggs in here. I'm going to whisk them up in a tick be too messy with my eggs. Oop. There we go. And I'm going to whisk that up. Now to ensure a smooth consistency for your crepes, it's important to mix the egg and the milk separately from the flour and then put them together. Please don't throw everything into one bowl at once. So now we'll whisk the flour and eggs and milk together. And we're going to keep whisking that till it's nice and smooth. Now while our batter is binding over here, I'm going to set that aside and start on our delicious rhubarb filling. So I've got two cups of Pullman's Gourmet Rhubarb here. I've got some butter, some orange juice, some sugar, and another orange to put a bit of zest in later, and some flour if we need to thicken the mixture. So we'll just add all those into our hot pan and stir them up. Now our rhubarb mixture is cooking away nicely so I'm going to start making the crepes and I've got a ladle to measure out on and I've got a nice hot pan over here. Now I'm going to spray that with a bit of oil so it's a bit easier to flip. Okay. We let that cook until we can see some little bubbles happening. Then we're going to try and flip it. I can't guarantee this is going to work. But we'll give it a go. Let's flip this crepe. To assemble our crepes, I'm going to begin by grating a little bit of orange zest into the rhubarb mixture. That'll just make it extra tangy. Stir that in. Then I'm going to bring the crepes over to the plate. Put a good dollop of our rhubarb mixture into the middle and just curl up the ends, dust with some icing sugar. Now these are a Sunday breakfast treat and not an every morning thing, unfortunately, as they are so delicious. If you want to jazz things up a little, you can add a dollop of cream and a drizzle of maple syrup, but I didn't tell you. I trust you will all enjoy both the beauty of rhubarb as well as its amazing flavour. We look forward to hearing what you think. See you next time.